Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do another redraw, draw this again challenge. I love doing them in the past, but when I've done them before, usually it was only a couple of years since I had done the first piece. So this time I wanted to go way back into my the past of my artistic life and find one from when I was a kid. So this is actually one from 2004, 2005, I believe it was with other pieces from about that time. And this piece in specific, I drew as an English assignment or part of my English assignment where we were reading A Midsummer Night's Dream. And I decided that, and I got it approved, but I, I was illustrating all of the fairy characters from the play. So that's what this one is. And I'm really excited to reimagine it and figure out ways that I can adapt it to the way I like to approach things now. But I will say there's something very... I don't I don't know what quite the word is, but it felt like I was like, and this sounds strange, but giving a gift to like my past self, I guess, or maybe to my current self, but being able to look at artwork that I did years and years ago and remembering those feelings of accomplishment and excitement of something working and and that feeling of of achievement, it was really exciting to be able to revisit that and create something new from that and find ways to to show things that I've improved on, but also to go back and still bring and tie from, from my old piece. It kind of felt like a collaboration with myself from old things that I loved and old design choices that I used to have and finding ways to, to make them work now. But but anyways, let's just jump right in with talking a little bit about some of the changes that I made and things that I kept the same. So the big difference really just right off the bat is my first one, my old piece, is actually digital. That was right when I was getting my my bearings with Photoshop and learning it. I have been working in Photoshop for a very long time now, but at that point I was really new to it and it was also exciting and it was this new world that was opening up for me. And I decided that today I wanted to do it in a traditional medium, actually, just to switch things up a little bit and do things that I'm doing a little bit more of now, actually. Things that I'm getting excited about and techniques that I'm excited about. So, so yes, this one will be, the final will be in watercolor and actual, actually it'll be pencil line work, which is a little bit unusual for me. I'm doing a little bit more of that. So the biggest thing when you're doing a redraw like this is that you have to think about what are the things that you want to stay the same, what are things that you're definitely moving past, and what are things that you just want to adapt. And I think, of course, that's really the funnest part about this is, is looking for ways to reimagine things. So there are certain parts of the original character's design that I, I knew that I wanted to find a way to make it work, but certainly not in the way that I did it the first time. One big, big change really actually is the pose and the anatomy. That's kind of a given right off the bat. That needs, that definitely needs improvement. But I had very stiff poses back then. And honestly, I, I still do. I still struggle with that. But at least I'm not still at that point in my stiffness. I've at least grown a little bit. But, but that was the first thing. I wanted to get something that felt a little bit more floaty and loose and soft. And that I think at least was a little bit more of an improvement. And then moving on from that, I I knew that I want to take certain elements from her outfit and then others, I would update them a little bit. So I, I wanted this like two layer thing for her dress. And that is what I ended up going with is that she would have a little bit more of this kind of strappy overdress and then underneath would be this spiky sheer dress that I have going on in the first one. I did adapt it by making it much shorter. It was kind of an odd length in that first piece. So this one's a little bit more suited for someone who might be flying around and a little bit more active. And for her face, I wanted to find ways to adapt the shape language that I had in that original face and then turn it into an updated version. So rather than just like throwing out that original face as me not really having any skills to do anything beyond that or to try different varying face shapes, I decided to make that the base to, to move forward as if that was very intentional. So she has a little bit more of this rounded off soft circular almost nose in the first one. So I wanted it to be a little bit more rounded and soft in my updated version. And then the old one, 
She also has a little bit more of a short round face. So I went with more of like a heart shape, but shorter face for this one. So there were some, some design cues that I still pulled over, even though I knew they weren't actually intentional, but, but I really did enjoy that being able to look at things in a different way to make a face fit around these things that were actual obstacles when I was much younger. I, I still remember that feeling and I, I mean, I still have it now every once in a while, but the feeling of where I, I want to do something different, but my skill set is so tightly associated with that kind of an execution. And that's the only way I know how to draw an eye or that's the only way I know how to draw, draw a nose. So there's no other possible variation until I gain that skill. So it was kind of fun to to actually move forward looking at it as if that was an intentional design choice. And I think the wings were probably the thing that I loved updating the most. I know without a doubt that those original wings, I did not look up anything, any reference at all for them. I'm sure that I struggled with it too, getting something to work quite right. And eventually I kind of settled on, on that, which is by no means close to actual wing anatomy. So I decided that I would take certain feelings from those wings, the original ones, and then adapt them to a, a little bit more of a realistic wing structure. This is by no means an actual realistic representation of any winged animal, but I did look at a lot of butterflies and moths, as well as fairy wings that people make. And that was really fun, actually. So I, I drew off of a lot of those different things, but I still wanted, again, certain shape languages to still be there from the original wing. So where she has these like dark branch-like elements to the wings, I made sure that that element still followed over into the new design. I did give it much more of like an upright, uplifted kind of shape for the wings. And I guess it's kind of interesting because I think that my taste in, in green colors has changed since then where... I was mixing them and comparing it to the original, but ultimately I think that nowadays I just tend to prefer more yellow greens or really blue greens, but I I don't think I, I love like straight up right in the middle of the road green as much as I, I used to or might have picked that. So for this one, I went a little bit more on the leafy yellow green side of things. And for her hair and her skin, I wanted to still tie in with the original and those original colors. I did actually want to choose all the colors the same basically as the original and just adapt them to the way that I like to do them now. So the skin and the hair were a little bit of that kind of an example. I really like to do more unnatural colors for both of those lately or actually for the last many years but for her hair since it was blonde, I decided to go with a green outline and more of this like green beige shadow. So it has this like yellow highlight hint to it with just a little bit of green still there that ties back into her dress. And then her skin, I went more with a yellow base skin tone. And then it ends up having purple for the shadow, which I, I always love for skin color. It, it looks really luminous and I love that. But because it was based a little bit more yellow, it has kind of this green or a familiarity with the green in the piece. And that was kind of fun where it wasn't objectively outright unnatural colors for her hair or her skin, but it, it just leaned just a little bit more towards that so that it, it has a little bit more of a, a fairy tale feel to it, or at least I think it did. In the original, she had this little like tattoo design under one of her eyes. And I wanted to make that more, more of a strong element in her design for the new one. So I kept that one basically underneath her eye. I also put one on her chest and one on her knee and then the other leg. And instead of doing straight black, like I did in the original, I went more with like a, a scar tissue kind of a color where I wanted it to look like maybe there was a little bit more story to that, more purpose and reason for those. And I think that's probably my one of my favorite details of the new one is I think it pushes that design concept a little bit more and it tells a little bit more of a story with something that was already there. And that is it for today. I had so much fun working on this. I, I really did love going back to my old artwork and 
revisiting some of those things that I, I remember really wanting to be able to put into my artwork, but not having the skills to do it. So it's really fun to be able to see how far I've come and that I have finally gotten to a point where I can realize some of those goals. And, and now it gives me a chance to think about what are my goals now that I hope in 10 years from now I'll be able to achieve. But, but yeah, I definitely recommend doing this. It was, it was really enlightening and enjoyable little art challenge, but well, that's it for today. We'll be back next Wednesday with another video. I do have links down in the description that'll take you over to my art shop or my Patreon. Both of those are great ways to help support this channel, but that is it for today. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And